Good morning, everyone. It is 6 a.m. and I am waking up. And if you told me last year that I would be waking up at 6 a.m., I would be so happy because it was something I was trying to work on for a very long time. So I'm going to tell you how I became a 6 a.m. riser. I love waking up in a peaceful way, so I have an alarm that gently wakes me up. It's called The Hatch. I highly recommend it. You can also download an app called Sleep Cycle if you want like a gentle alarm. There's nothing that I hate more than like a blaring iPhone alarm, so I never use that. Then I do my skincare routine and I've actually started to use this high frequency wand on my face. My facialist recommended it to me and I think it works amazing, especially if you have breakouts or pimples or just anything that you kind of want to like kill the bacteria. In the morning, I am on autopilot. So I wake up, I do my skincare, I take my supplements. And if you haven't noticed, I do not check my phone at all. I think that is one of the best things that you can do is avoid screen time. Whenever I check my phone in the morning, I just feel so tired, groggy, and I start my day on the wrong foot. So instead, just find a routine where you can do pretty much in your sleep and you don't even need to think about it. You just get up and you do it. For me, that's skincare, supplements, putting on my workout clothes, and then hopping on the mat or going to the gym. I also like to clean my room and make my bed. I just feel like it's a good way to have like a little win in the morning like you're productive first thing in the morning and I don't know about you but when I look at my room or my apartment and it's messy it makes me so stressed so I know some people like to clean up before they go to bed personally I like to clean my apartment in the morning and that's why I like waking up so early because it allows me the time to do that good morning everyone I am up and at them. <laughs> It is currently 6.40 a.m. and I'm about to work out. I sometimes alternate between going to the gym or just working out here. It depends on what's on the plan. I've been doing Form by Sammy Clark and if you want a low impact workout, this is the best one to do. I'm obsessed with Pilates and you can do this from your home or if you have like a gym at your apartment, you don't need like a full size gym. Pretty much the heaviest weight she uses is like 25 pound dumbbells. So you can totally do it at home. I've been loving this in the morning because I feel like it makes me excited to work out. I think the key to staying consistent with a workout routine is finding a workout that you enjoy. And if you've never worked out before and this is totally new to you, then test out a bunch of workouts in the beginning of the year and see what you like and try to find a plan and stick with it. The reason that I don't really love doing like workout classes is because one, they get incredibly expensive and two, they're not like a part of my routine because of how expensive they are. I wanna work out three to five times a week. I can't spend money on three to five workout classes a week. That's just very unrealistic. So whenever I do a workout class, it's like a treat and it's usually a social activity. So try to find something at home that you can do on your own. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I can't motivate myself. I wouldn't do it at home. I would just try to find something that you really enjoy. There's so many apps out there, whether you are into weightlifting, strength training, Pilates, running, like anything out there. There's a million apps out there, so try to find one that you like. Go on autopilot like I do in the morning and just get to where you need to be, whether it's outside for a run, at the gym, or on your mat. Just be on autopilot until then. I don't check my phone. I don't just like lay around, like not, you know, being like, oh, when should I get up? Like I get out of bed, I'm on autopilot until I am on my mat and then I do my workout or until I'm at the gym. So that is my big tip for how to find a workout that you like. It's gonna be a lot of experimenting and if you like something for one month and then you don't like it, switch it up. Don't feel like you have to stick to it if you genuinely hate a workout. If you are new to working out though, it might take you a second to kind of get adjusted. Maybe start with like three to five times a week, but I'm telling you, the autopilot method works like just you just got to get up not think about anything and have your routine that you do without thinking until you get to your workout that's why i don't really work out on the weekends because on the weekends i don't have this like regimented routine i kind of lay in bed i lounge i i let myself sleep in and then by the time it's time to get up i'm so out of my routine that i don't even want to work out because it sounds miserable anyways i'm about to do a 30 minute pilates class and i'll see you guys at 
7.15. I usually will end up working out for 30 to 45 minutes a day, but I always switch up my workouts, so I listen to my body. If my body is feeling like I'm tired and I don't want to work out, I won't do it, but I always make sure that it's because I genuinely, like, my body is tired versus me just not wanting to because I'm feeling a little lazy. Of course, you have days like that, but... I don't want to get in the habit of not working out whenever I just like don't feel like it, but I do listen to my body. After my workout is usually when I will clean up my apartment. I have the energy and I'll just go through, I'll do any little errands like watering my plants, tidying stuff up, and it feels so good to start the day with a clean space. Done with my workout. It was really nice. Those Pilates workouts just creep up on you with how hard they get, but it was good and I'm glad I got it done. I always like to start my morning off with a little bit of like protein before I get my coffee in and I'm not starving for like a huge breakfast right now. So I would usually just have like a tiny glass of goat milk kefir. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So I just picked this up at Trader Joe's yesterday. It's unsweetened, doesn't have flavor. Some people might think it's really gross. I love the taste of goat milk. So it's really good for me. It's really thick. <laughs> This one's a little thicker than the one I get at Whole Foods. Okay, this is kind of a fail. Mm. I know some of you guys probably think this is gross. I think it's so good though. It has eight grams of protein per cup, which is really good. all day today so even though I'm working from home I am going to put some makeup on I'm not gonna put a lot but I will put a little bit on and some mornings depending on how my skin is honestly I just won't wear makeup but let me see who my calls are with actually do these require makeup honestly um honestly I actually might not need makeup today. looking at all my calls none of them are like I need to be like looking my absolute best okay i'm not gonna put makeup on today oh i do have to record a podcast though let me just put makeup on Ugh, the struggles of being a girl it's like hair wash day today i decided it was not a hair wash day i just put some dry shampoo in one thing that i love about waking up at 6 a.m though is the fact that i can start working at around like 8 30 because i like to work before 9 a.m just so that I feel awake before my team. My co-founders are usually up at this time, but the rest of the team is not. And I just feel more productive because I'm not starting the day with stress about, oh my gosh, it's so late and I haven't started the day yet. Like it's not even eight o'clock yet, it is 7.45. I just think that if you are watching this video and you're debating what time you should start getting up, I recommend setting an alarm for 6 a.m. and just seeing if you can do it. Like two months ago, I was waking up at 7.30 and that sometimes felt early to me. And then I was like, you know what? I'm so tired of being stressed every morning about wait starting my day so late. And so I am gonna start waking up at six and see how it is. And I'm not kidding, it has changed my productivity levels. at least perfected the 10 minute makeup look. I'll be done with this in like between five to 10 minutes. I am going to make some breakfast now. I'm gonna do a breakfast bowl. I think that I make like amazing breakfast. Like that is my specialty, which isn't that impressive, but I love a good breakfast. Like I am someone that's hungry in the morning. I don't understand how some people are just like wake up and they're not hungry and they don't eat until like 1 p.m. Like that is just not me. I also didn't eat a big dinner last night, so I am extra hungry this morning. So I'm gonna make a breakfast bowl. I have some rice that I made yesterday, so I'm gonna include that. I'm gonna make eggs, chicken sausage, spinach, tomatoes, saute it all up. Um, and yeah, let's, let's get started. I have always been a savory breakfast person, but I recently heard that savory breakfast makes people wake up earlier or I guess makes you more of a morning person, which honestly makes sense because it's so good. Like if people say that they don't eat breakfast, I'm like, you are missing out on some really, really delicious meals. My breakfast, how amazing does this look? 
the egg, the rice, the chicken sausage, the spinach, the tomato. It just looks so good and I am going to enjoy it. And another thing that makes me get out of bed in the morning is my morning coffee. I love my morning coffee. I think the key to it is you have to have a good cup because there are some cups that I just, the coffee doesn't taste as good. It doesn't hit the same. So once I do that, I go to my desk and I start the work day. It is 8.30 and I am finally done with my morning routine and now I can start my work day. If you're watching this, you're probably like, oh my God, you do so much before you start working. And I have like a two and a half hour morning routine and i am very happy about that it allows me to start my day on my own note if that makes sense i don't want to start the day and have my calendar tell me what to do i want to start the day do my routine ease into it and then begin when i'm ready which is usually around 8 30 a.m or 9 a.m depending on when i wake up and it just makes it so much better because i used to be one of those people that i would open my phone right away i would check my emails i would respond to text messages i haven't been on my phone at all besides watching a youtube video while i ate my breakfast but i haven't answered any text messages i haven't checked my email i haven't been responsive and alert and like high stress yet and so not to say that i'm going to be high stress the rest of the day but now i am ready to give my full attention and give my full effort to the work day and you know there were times when sometimes i would be like oh i have a call in the morning and like it was with my team and i would literally wake up and 10 minutes later open my laptop and get on the call that was like the worst way to start my day and i feel like that's so common with remote working if you are someone that works from home and so making sure that you just have time to like prioritize yourself and do the things that you like to do in the morning like i like you saw i worked out i cooked i cleaned my apartment even i you know had made a coffee i it was just so leisurely and that makes me so happy and now i'm like motivated to start the day i also just recommend waking up early i think it makes you way less stressed because you're not scrambling either but i hope that you enjoyed this morning routine i know it was a little different than my usual videos i'm trying to get more creative with my content this year so please let me know if you liked it i also want to provide value so like how did i become a morning person this is how so i hope that you like this video i am filming a weekly vlog this week so i'm gonna pick up the camera and start vlogging and i'm just excited for where the week takes me and where the day takes me and i'm excited for this year too because i do feel so much more re-inspired with my youtube content and i love it so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna get to work and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys